morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and today I thought I would do a market review. I like to look at the market on the weekends when it's completely stationary <laughs> and not moving, just to kind of see if there's anything that I need to look at right now. <clears throat> So we closed, it looks like, at 102.16 Friday. Interesting. All right, so there you have it. So let's just go over the market. Markets had a crazy wild ride at the end of the summer. And it's Labor Day weekend. Happy Labor Day, everyone. And here we have the market. This week was more normal than last week. Although there were still like anomalies present in this week. This was the first anomaly. Second one was here. Then we look like we're going to rally and continue higher, except for the fact that we didn't immediately why. The problem is that it is a holiday time. People are off. People have been on vacation for the last week. And so I thought it was very unusual that the market gap down here then on the 1st of September. But we didn't follow through on the gap down and we didn't drop. Then we gapped up. That seemed normal on the second, but we couldn't fall through again on the third. And then the day before the holiday, which was yesterday and Friday, we gapped down. I thought that was unusual too, but I really didn't think we'd go anywhere with it. It looked weak, except for the fact that I didn't think we'd go anywhere. Same situation here. <clears throat> Same exact situation a couple days ago. And in fact, I must be honest with you now that I'm looking at this here and I see the whole picture. continues to give me the confirmation that we are higher. I know it seems like I'm probably the only person on the planet saying that right now because of this insane wild ride that happened within a three day period here and really the gap down that happened on the 24th of August. But again, this was an anomaly. So getting back to situating ourselves, how long will it take? One week, two weeks, a month? It could be a month. I mean, it could be the entire month of September till we situate ourselves. Because remember, it's a holiday. Market is closed on Monday. I wouldn't put it past the market to do it very quickly, but I'm saying to be reasonable and give ourselves the ample time. Could be a month till the market gets through and over and above the area. All right? Which is really 105. 105. Market has to either gap up over 105 in the QQQs or rally above it to continue higher. So we could be sloshing around this coming week back and forth. Again, it's going to be a very light week simply because of the fact people will still be off. Some people take off the week of the Labor Day holiday. And it's really still summer weather outside. So my call here and read in the market is that we are still going to continue higher for the rest of the calendar year 2015 and actually make yet a new high. In fact, we could, we could end up closing out the year up over that 120 area, which I originally had said we were going to get above thought we'd get above it by now. We didn't. Timing is, in long-term trades, is extremely challenging to predict because no one could have predicted this, and yet it happened. But when something like this happens, you double, triple check yourself so you don't panic and think that everything's off, or make sure you don't miss that something's wrong now. But the fact is there wasn't anything wrong. This was not a good bearish gap to short. Didn't short it on the day, and here we are. So we very quickly reversed through that day literally within two days. And that, again, gives me the conviction to proceed and say the market's higher. And, you know, the market's trying to situate itself here back into this level of support. You can see it right here it is. So the gap down that happened on Friday could have fallen. And so could have the one that back here in the first, but it didn't. Why? You don't have the institutional selling happening in these gaps. And in fact, it's very clear from Friday that is actually being supported. And, you know, this is the day before holiday, too, because the market opened and rallied, broke the low late around lunch, actually twice broke the low, but then got bought, got bought into the close here, into the close on a Friday, day before holiday weekend. So the market's trying to support itself here. And it is working, actually. So we'll see where we go in the next week. But I'm telling everyone, Everything still looks fine, meaning that the market is still going to continue higher. And actually, we never broke the uptrend. We're still in an uptrend. This gap that happened here actually didn't break the chart. I know everyone's like, what? 
but it's true. This actually is not doing anything to change the trend in the market. The market is still in an uptrend, and that gap that happened back on August 24th did not change the trend in the market. We're still in an uptrend, all right? So we look at it, we check it every day. I'm doing the same thing. We'll see how long it takes us to get above and out of the area. I really feel like 105 is a placement for the Qs where we have to go up to or gap up to, and obviously it's better if we just gap up to it. It's right here. <clears throat> Have a wonderful holiday weekend, everyone. This is Melissa Arma with the stock swoosh by call for the market as we continue higher through the end of 2015. We could need a whole month, though, to work through the anomalies of the last two weeks, although I will tell you that I wouldn't put anything past the bulls in the market and the, who are the people in control because if they want to come in and sweep everything above itself, it could happen in a millisecond. And that's the beautiful thing about the power of money I just don't know if that happens and plays out that way. I can see that it's still going to happen. I just don't know the timing of it. So we get up every day and I look at the gaps and I rate the gaps and we go from there. But as of right now, everything still looks perfect with this market. Amazing market. Very, very volatile in the last few weeks. Exciting time to trade if you've been trading. If you're a day trader like me, a lot of opportunity to make money if you pick the right thing. There always is in the market. You just have to be very, very specific and pick the right thing, which I'm able to do. And obviously you have to play it in the right direction. And the market is still along here. Have a great holiday weekend, everyone. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, the next class is September 19th and 20th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information. The price class will be increasing as of October 1st. So if you would like to do a September class, you can sign up for this one. If you want to do the class, past September in October, you can sign up and pay for the current price before the price increases as long as you sign up by September 30th. Have a wonderful day, everyone. See you next week.